Hey, thanks for joining me for perk stream today. Yeah, I came outside because to do this, to build a fire, uh, I needed to be outside. Our, our fireplace doesn't function, so if I built this inside, I'm really kind of putting our house in danger. That's eh, not such a cool idea. But you know, I came out here because I wanted to build a fire for one reason. It gives us this visual image. The fire is a very important place. Uh, in Native American culture, as Kevin Madrill was telling me, this is the place where people were at peace, where people were at rest with one another. They, they took time to be community together around the fire. So fires are really, really important. They're not just a place where you cook your food. They're not just a place where you do, uh, do some community business. The fire was a place of relationship, of, of continuity and connection. So here we are at a fire. And, uh, and the question might be, well, who's not here? Uh, Kevin passed on to me. They said that if you are uh, at odds with somebody or if somebody's at odds with you, you would not sit at the fire together. It, in fact, it's, if, if it was my fire and you had offended me, until we worked it out, you could not sit at my fire. Now, that may seem like a, a really small or trivial thing, but, but since the fire is a place of community and connection, the image makes total sense to me. It's like, I, I want to be with the people whom I love and I'm in good relationship with. And well, when I'm not at in a good relationship or a good space with somebody, I, I actually probably avoid them. And that's all of our tendency, right? That not that all of our tendency to avoid those people where the relationship isn't right? Well, Jesus has invited us to his fire and he's done it through the blood that he shed on the cross. So that's his part in making uh, his fire available to us. And then Paul would take that a little bit farther in Colossians chapter three, when he would say, forgive one another, uh, forgive anybody, even, even if it's the smallest grievance, forgive them as Christ forgave you. And so Paul's cry there is, hey, invite people back to your fire. As we're ta talking about finding your people, there are some people that, uh, we, don't, we don't get along with everybody, but we shouldn't have grievances with each other. We shouldn't have things where we are saying, you know what, I'm not going to forgive that person or I'm not going to speak to that person because they've offended me. Uh, those are the things that Christ wants us to clear up so that we can sit at the fire in peace. So uh, who's missing from your fire? Uh, who's not in proximity because there's something to clear up? I invite you through the Holy Spirit to find the power and the wherewithal to forgive as Christ has forgiven you. And then I just say, hey, invite them to the fire. Invite them back into the circle. Let's get, let's get together again around the fire. Uh, proximity is what builds our connection. It's what builds our community. And so I'm, I'm asking us to make sure we can always have space at our fire. So God bless you and enjoy the rest of this cold week. But uh, at the same time, remember there's time coming when we can build these fires and sit around them together. Let's make sure everybody can get to the fire.